and we all thought that that Dark Magician was going to be over a thousand dollars in the long haul. Be like the 33.8% of you guys have not smashed the living crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so we can get even further into a hundred and one K. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're going to be taking a quick little look here at the Dark Magicians here. Now, the first uh, listings that came up were at 2,500 for these. I'm not going to lie to you, um, that's ridiculous. All right. Uh, it was originally thought that these were going to be one per six cases, but it looks like that that has been debunked at this point in time. I'm starting to hear one per two cases, making this a lot more common here. I see down here we have some bids at 710 for this. I actually just saw some European copies that were selling for about 400 USD after conversions here. But what you're kind of starting to see here is, yeah, a nice little fall down on these here. Um, another listing here, 866. Let's just kind of zoom on in here. Completed, one sold for 800, 879. Uh, another one for 800 down here, another 800. So right now, it looks like we're starting to see what I would say 800 across the board for these. Um, we'll have to kind of wait and see. Um, if these end up being one to two per case, um, they're probably gonna fall down to starlight levels. You'll probably end up, I mean, there's a lot of these already floating around on the market, a lot more than what I would feel like a starlight would really have. So I would say probably after post-circulation everything, you might be looking at maybe three to 400 per copy, really if that, but if I'm already seeing those foreign copies across here, already being as cheap as they are, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to see a nice little dip in these. So yeah, Dark Magician is uh, how much these days? It's really a spectacle, honestly. I also wanted to kind of home on in here to some of the OCG buyouts that, not really buyouts, but more of these movements that have kind of happened back here. I once again wanted to revisit and just tell you guys that Thurion cards are continuing to move. All right, both Thurions, the Platinum, or the Platinum, <laughs> the uh, Starlight version of this sold at whew, 100 plus now. They are gone, ladies and gentlemen, um, for two versions of this. Another interesting note down here, I see that we did have movement in the Zombie Dragon, actually. Okay. And I see over here that we also had the disappearance of the Link Monster. Technically, this thing is actually pretty bonkers good, being a generic card, all things considered here. But you guys notice anything here? The Beyond the Pendulum is still in stock on the OCG side of things. Oh, okay. But every single Thurion's card has, if it had a Starlight, it's gone. Ladies and gentlemen, pretty expensive starlights too. I'll see down here as we push on down here. They also have the secret alternative printings. The platinum, ah, they have so many things here. These look very good, by the way. Why can't our secret rare look this good? The Coliseums for the secrets, by the way, are $25. That's not horrible. I see that the dragon is still in stock here. Uh, dragon never really took off. It's a good card. Dino Morphia over here, also amazingly good. This thing's only $10, though, all things considered. Uh, but that's your more baseline rarity stuff here. Even, you can see here for ultra rares, my boy Thurion here, 15 bucks. I see up here that the Exceed for the Exosisters coming in at a whole $5. That's pretty expensive, all things considered here. And then I see here that... Uh, Dollar fifty for the ultra for that, okay. Or the other other ultras, two dollars. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, you are kind of seeing here that everything Thurion's across the board doing its job, maintaining some sort of crazy expensive price. I guess we can't pull that up. And then of course the little things in between here. Illegal Knight also being a dollar fifty super. Rare, this card sees a little bit of play in the OCG. Um, granted, it's free level of interruption, uh, and then you just hand it to your opponent. But like. What do you care? It's a 2,000 attack monster. All right. All right. Some really odd notes for playmats on the uh, eBay here. $8,900. That's 385 for 24 months, by the way. Huh. Okay. Now, for those of you that have been wondering about this, the Ecclesia mat has a few listings here. This was the first one I found at 435 It's a little bit expensive here. Luckily for us, we do have alternative options here as we kind of push on along here. I believe this is the cheapest one on the market here. 
Still uh, not not necessarily within my budget, to be honest with you guys. $345 for a playmat is not exactly um, a cheap price point. And uh, granted, in terms of collectability, yeah, it is a nice piece. Yeah, Ecclesia has their fan base. Yeah, it is Ecclesia. Once again, I want to state that there. But I don't know, man. For that price, eh. Fun fact, though, this old ABC mat, this old, this is so old, it has the old pendulum zones here. This old beauty here is one that's sold, but they're available for 150. That's uh, that's not too bad, honestly. I just wanted to bring up uh, Grand Creators here. Um, we talked about earlier in the week that we actually saw the Water Enchantresses hit under 180 for those collector's rares. Well, guess what? They reverse right back on up, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm going to love just monitoring uh, these in general because this is a wild ride for a card. These don't know if they want to stay down or if they want to reverse and go straight back up to the moon. All right. I see the right of Hermesiers here, still 160s. That's good. Torrentials at 88. Actually, we're going to be $93. These are going back up. Solemn Strikes pushing down still. I see the e tellies are at 70. Wow, those push down hard. Regular Water Enchantress are back down to 50s and right of Hermesiers floating back down to 50. And I do see here the Faithful Adventures are down to 42s. Exosister Packs, $36. Everything Exosister related in general, of course. I'm glad to see that more of these have restocked since the last time we looked at this set, but it's a it's a pretty interesting ride. Sophia's at twenty six dollars, Hornets here at twenty sevens, Dragonflies at twenty threes. Um, the Insector stuff crashed very very hard. All right, very unfortunate that we saw such a big hit on the market for the Insector stuff, but it's a lot more inviting now to the player base. Dugaris the Timeless. Um, this thing still only has one printing. I'm hoping in Ghost from the Trash 2 we will see another run of these, but they are doing their little spiky spike right back on up again here. But that's what you expect from a good card, right, ladies and gentlemen? There really isn't much of an application to kind of play this right now, though the card is still massively nutty, all things considered. So maybe maybe we'll see some sort of uh, concoction kind of maybe want to pick this up and give this a shot again but from where i'm sitting right now it's spinning down right now and when you get the chance to see a good powerful card like that you know still looking very cheap compared to some of its previous listings yeah that's very important to know utopia i just kind of want to pull this one up and show this by the way astro utopias are they've, they've done a nice ver very quick climb down here at 350 and they are maintaining I don't think we'll see much of a change on these, but we'll have to wait and see. Also, Utopia Double here. This thing has one printing, by the way. One. All right, you can get a French one here for uh, pretty cheap, actually. That's good. All right, but the rest of the way here, you're looking at $15. I love how the TCG Player Direct one here is $32, by the way. That's a meme and a half. Holy crap. Uh, number 100, the OTK Dragon Machine. I don't know how many of you guys kind of just keep up with what's going on with this card, but ever since they, they had their little calm down here, I am glad to see that the multicolors are actually really good. Um, the fact that, why? Let's we'll pick up a blue one instead of spending 11 to $12 for a regular version. Like, that makes no sense to me. I, I just, I'll take the different colored one for the win. It's so stupid that stuff like that is higher value. It goes in match. Whoo, floodgates, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, Elblitz running around in the format here. I was kind of curious to see how these were going. Only 24 hidden summoners on the market here. It's $7 a piece. And then the rares, you're looking at about $7 as well. Commons, $3. And then structure to commons are almost fours, ladies and gentlemen. The beautiful effect of Elblitz the Golden Lord on the format is uh, hilarious. Ah, rank up magic. Soul Shave Force. Alright, yep, they're still $10. That doesn't surprise me in the least, considering the fact this card is nuts. Hey man, free special summons are good. Alright, literally making infinity in your Blackwing deck, lol. Now, I just wanted to pull up Starlight Zeus's in general here, kind of take a look at these. They're still maintaining at, uh, well, we're under four. That's necessarily a good thing, to be honest with you guys. All right, I'll take it. Original Prince Zeus's are still $30. And then you're looking at $13 from the 10 versions. 
All right, not too bad. Looks like the market's pretty pretty solid right now, all things considered. So what do you guys think about today's market? Please leave a comment about what you guys think. Make sure you guys smash the leave a comment that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here later and there was some more cool awesome content. Peace out, guys. Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.